We are just a speck in the expanse of the cosmos, and there is still so much of our planet's vast and beautiful scenery left to learn about, and there is even more to explore beyond its atmosphere. Since we learned how to send rockets and satellites into space, we've been yearning to discover more about the universe beyond Earth. But where do we begin? Our intrepid explorers have been sending us vital information. Recently, we have learned of a terrifying last warning that the Voyager sent back to Earth from 14 billion miles away. Let's find out what kind of discovery lies far away from the Earth. The Voyager mission is ending, and so are the careers of the first people to start this billion-mile journey. The scientist who've been in charge of the Voyager mission for the past 50 years has said that he will stop working. The Voyager missions project scientist is leaving after 50 years of service. It was in 1972 when Ed Stone was recruited while preparations for the Voyager spacecraft were barely starting. Stone had been in charge of the Voyagers since their launch. NASA says he was granted the chance to remain in this function after being appointed to the position of director of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. After 50 years of working on the Voyager project for NASA, Stone talked about his 50-year experience. It has been an honor and a thrill to serve as the Voyager Project scientist. Thank you to everyone across the world who has followed Voyager and traveled with us on this incredible journey. The spacecraft has worked better than we could have imagined, and I'm glad I had the chance to work on this mission with so many talented and dedicated people. In August of 2022, NASA celebrated 45 years since the launch of the twin probes in 1977. The Voyager 1 spacecraft, launched in 1977 to investigate the solar system's outer planets, has outlived everyone's wildest expectations and is still relaying data back to Earth. The pioneering spacecraft left the solar system in 2012 and has been traveling across interstellar space ever since. It is now 14.5 billion kilometers away from Earth making it the furthest artificial object ever. NASA says that the information coming from Voyager 1's AACS doesn't reflect what's really going on on board. The spacecraft's antenna seems to be pointed in the right direction since it is receiving and acting on commands from NASA and sending data back to Earth. The error message said that the spaceship was too old to go into safe mode, where only the most important tasks are done. NASA doesn't know how much longer the spacecraft will be able to continue collecting and sending scientific data until the problem's root is found. The Voyager team is trying to figure out why Earth's robot emissary is sending out messages that are hard to understand. When asked to elaborate, they said, the engineering team has some severe issues. One of the main issues is that it takes two days for a message to get from Earth to Voyager and back again since it takes light 20 hours and 33 minutes to travel from Earth to Voyager's current interstellar location. Nonetheless, the team hopes to find a solution billions of miles away. Since the two Voyagers are the first objects to break out of the heliosphere, which is the bubble of plasma around the sun, they have gained the attention of anybody who loves to look up. The heliosphere is a massive bubble that encircles the sun and planets and is caused by solar wind, the sun's continuous outflow of charged particles. Gradually, solar plasma is being supplanted by interstellar plasma. Yet, the Voyager has done the unthinkable. A termination shock is created when the solar wind slows to subsonic speeds upon interaction with the local interstellar medium. The effects are a tightening in space, a rising temperature, and shifts in the magnetic field. When you are 75 to 90 AU from the sun, you will experience the termination shock. One astronomical unit equals the distance between the Earth and the sun. When their missions ended in 2004 and 2007, respectively, Voyager 1 and 2 were subjected to a massive shock, but they both made it. The heliosheath is the area beyond the termination shock. The termination shock demarcates the limit of the Sun's sphere of influence relative to what is left of the solar system. It's where the bubble of solar winds slows to a speed slower than the speed of sound. As it made its journey across the solar system, Voyager 1 visited Jupiter and Saturn, paying special attention to Saturn's moon Titan. 
the Voyager 2 probe visited the planets Neptune and Uranus. This is the first time a starship has ever traveled to these planets. From Voyager 1 to Earth, light travels for more than 22 hours, but just 18 hours and 15 minutes with Voyager 2. Transferring a lot of data takes a lengthy time, since the ship only has 160 BPS data transmission rate. We will only hear from the Voyagers again if we can find a way to repair their radioisotope thermoelectric generators. To keep them working for as long as possible, NASA has deactivated a number of probe systems. Nonetheless, the Voyagers will become quiet forever around the year 2025. Recently, the historic Voyager 1 spacecraft's telemetry data has been analyzed, and it has been discovered that it contains a mystery that NASA experts are now investigating. An official statement confirmed that the investigation is in good health and operating normally. Calls and commands are coming from Earth to it as well. The antenna on Voyager 1 is pointed towards Earth with the aid of an attitude articulation and control system. However, this system does not reflect what is truly occurring on board at the time. This is not your typical radio antenna that works with a perfectly placed karate chop. This antenna is a billion miles away. So scientists only rely on delicate data to figure out what exactly is going on out there. Depending on the context, AACS data may appear randomly constructed or may not reflect any conceivable conditions the AACS may be in, as NASA put it. The Voyager 1 is still in an incredible condition. All systems are operational, and there is no need for safe mode since the signal is strong and the main antenna seems to be in the correct position. Given that the data stream rate is just 160 bits per second and signals take 20 hours and 33 minutes to reach the probe, NASA engineers have a formidable challenge in recovering Voyager. Voyager 1 has backup systems that NASA may utilize to keep the probe alive and recent experience implies that it is a fair possibility that they will operate, as shown in 2017 when the spacecraft fired rockets it hadn't used since 1980. Possible solutions include replacing faulty hardware or installing newer system software versions. Suzanne Dodd, the project manager for Voyager 1 and 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, stated, If there's a way to remedy the issue with the AACS, our team will discover it. Since Voyager 1 has been in service for 45 years, much longer than its expected working life, NASA has issued a warning about the harsh radiation environment of interstellar space. Even though the Voyager's 1970s technology has been carried across 23 billion kilometers, their dependability remains a mystery. Even though the Voyager is now fully operational, experts haven't been able to figure out why it started sending signals again through a broken computer after sitting idle for decades. NASA has no clue what may have spurred the update, and the Voyager and its systems seem to be functioning regularly now that it's further from Earth than any other spacecraft has ever been. Either the Voyager is suffering a random malfunction for the first time in over 50 years, or it is being influenced to change its function in a way that causes it to send us a message we may not understand. Maybe the message is deeper than we've been led to believe, and maybe it was simply picked up by Voyager. Not only did it beat all of our expectations, but it also talks to aliens and got a message from them. If Voyager 2 is as successful as the first, receiving even a single message like that may be the start of something much larger than anybody could have anticipated. In the future, we could have a far clearer picture of the unknown, and our mistake might turn out to be really useful. Do you believe Voyager's transmission to NASA was a simple technological glitch? Or may its contents be more terrifying than we can imagine? Tell us in the comments. Leave us a like and subscribe for more videos like this.